Franchise Report. Reporting live. Franchise in the building, franchise report in effect as it goes down another mother effing day. Lovely Leticia in the building with me. Taylor Ricard was popping family. What's good? What's down? <laughs> another day just trying to get it. Another day. You ready for this work in this cold weather you wasn't ready for? I wasn't ready for it, but I'm ready for it now. Let's get it popping, man. Straight to it. Classic, too. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh. I'm the Barry Barnes of Black Balloon Global. Hit after hit, man, I feel like a chain smoker. I give you the real, like a changeover. They never notice that movie just keep rolling. I'm tired of dirtin', work like I got a double. Stay going in, I just don't see the point in being subtle. I punch the clock low much, so I'm like I'm playing bloody knuckles. I got this shit on lock, yeah, nigga, belt buckle, ayy. It's the society of die. It's either first or last. We really been cutting ties. I caught the wave and surfed. You fell off and ain't survived. Playing birthday party. Oh boy, why am I not surprised? Me, Fee, and Adam been racking up on endorsements. Who sponsors multiple commas on chicks I'm making in fortune. Breaking in Porsches, making my way to places and Porsches. Way more important, no way to heavy, but I'm supported by my peers these years. Circle smaller than ever, me falling. Like the fall of a feather in Wendy Wigger. My checks bigger, chest bigger, nigga, no Wendy Williams. Live on the top. Floor of a building, Italian paintings of angels plastered all over the ceiling. Got me feeling like I'm close to the God. Thank Him the minute I open my eyes. I'm what these women wanna see, like watching Oprah live. Oprah protective parents, they all begging me to come inside. I set my sights on a girl, I feel deserved better. And when she ready, I'll treat her right as she let me until then. It's groupers and show sets, shopping sprees out on Fairfax. Overpriced hotel rooms with views over cities, I stare at. Studio session at the dub room with paint. Record a Grammy worth album, it started off as mixtape, so just wait. I've been strategically, mathematically attaching these tracks. They attached to my email saying kill it and send it back. Boy, I dropped this shit, I'm setting off a seismograph. You drop that shit, you got the audience gonna probably laugh. If there's a diss record on it, I wouldn't do it. You should be aware. They've been beheading niggas on my behalf. Watching nigga numbers get chopped in half. That's fractions, you do the math. To get where I'm at, you'll need a better map. Better raps, cut the crap, get rid of this, get rid of that. Every style you stole, give it back and stop lying. Give a nigga facts when them niggas ask for your resume. Just to find out the life you portray is one that you replicate I never hesitate to let y'all know I was lame But when I made 15, that shit that just got old and I changed Learned the game and sold everything from pills to cocaine Doing drive-bys out many bands Ask my parents, bitch, I'm really insane Fill in my pocket cause you motherfuckers fill in my pain <laughs> oh, I'm out, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm out <laughs> That's all I got, <laughs> that's all I got for y'all that's it, you know, you a little boss. Ah, tap in with me, though. That was easy for you, though. It was. That was easy for you, though. Um, my headphones, my headphones. Yours are too? Yeah. You they're on, hear? but they're static. Oh, I don't know what's going on over here. You good? Can you hear it? Eh, no, not really. It's the wire you hear. It's the wire. Is it the wire? Is yours good? Nah. No? I still snap though. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're good. Hold on. Let me try this one. But anyways, Taylor Ricard. There we go. Can you Thank hear you. a little sign? Yes, little sign. I'm there in you there. Go. I'm okay, in the you building. in there. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Like Franchise said, that was too easy for you. That was... Uh. So, Taylor Ricard, where you from? I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You got the whole accent and everything going Thank on. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. Flow was definitely tight. Beat that was never picked before on the show. So, so shout out. Shout to out to that. Boogie Brown and Farside. Boogie Brown is a friend of mine. That's really? crazy. He is a friend of mine. Really? Okay. Classic group right there. He's a Classic friend of mine, bro. Group right there. Hey, I met him. I met him uh, at a Gorillas concert. Thanks to my manager, bro. We went to a Gorillas concert. They're lifelong friends. Were well, the last cartoons, or did you actually see the Gorillas? Because I actually day, saw the real Gorillas. <laughs> so the real I gorillas? saw the real <laughs> people. <laughs> I've I've never seen them in like in person I mean, or humanly had, on TV. It's always they had the cartoons, cartoons on the stage on the screen, but they were really but they were out really there. there. Yes, sir. Mm. Ah, yeah. mm. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. Ah, okay, amazing. right. So Taylor Picard, you are an artist. You you are what I call an artist. I am You're not an artist. only rap. I'm not you a also rapper, sing. Not a singer. I'm an artist. You're an artist. I'm an artist. You do both. He does both. He's very versatile, hey. and your voice <laughs> is very dope. Thank you. Your rap skills are dope. Thank you. Your how you um, interview. 
I wasn't expecting that. I sat in. A, I was not expecting that. You I'm are very well art. Your, your, your words. I think before I speak. Right. Yeah. Listen. There you go. You did what I didn't do. <laughs> she was like, he sounds educated. I was like, really? <laughs> I didn't what? say educated. I did not say that. Don't do me like that. <laughs> that's a compliment, though. Thank you. <laughs> however, like, it, however it was said, that's how you. That's how you perceive <laughs> it. I appreciate. Yeah. yeah. I was I like, I was not expecting him to sound like that. But yes, he is very well spoken. There you go. I like to read. Okay, that's good. Books are like that's stimulating. Good. I love books. So how long have you been doing music? I have been doing music for the better half of 10 years. But to be honest, I have been involved in music my entire life. My father was a writer, a rapper, a singer. My mother was also a writer. My grandmother was a singer. My family is a attachment to the DeBarge family. Okay. So I guess it run in our genetics to be you know, creative, to okay. be creators. Okay, 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 okay. All this love yeah. <laughs> is waiting <laughs> for you. <laughs> right? Okay, so you've been doing it for 10 years, you yes. said, right? 10 years. So 10 years I've been listening to your music. One of my favorite songs, I was introduced to it by DJ Killer Touch, yes. was Perfect, perfect and perfect. Imperfections. You're perfect for me, I adore And I was like, oh my gosh, Killer, who is he? I love his voice. <laughs> To me, you sound like Lloyd. I always Thank compare you. somebody to somebody. That's not right. But anyways, to me, you remind me of Lloyd, but your voice is definitely dope. Nah, that's cool. I appreciate that. We from the same place. We do have that. We have that. I do have what he have. And then you disappeared. What happened? Oh, man, I went to jail. I went to prison for seven years. Oof. Oof. For what? Something that I really? did when I was 19. <laughs> okay, something you did when you was 19. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm nah, it's fine, it's cool. I'm nosy. All right. But you're never going back, right? I am never going back. Right? Now, you, now you're focused. I'm super focused. Now you got a lot going I on. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I gotta say? I always, I say this all the time. People look at me crazy, but I feel like I needed to go because I was illiterate. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand how illiterate I was until I was placed in an environment around more ignorant and illiterate people. And then to discover and encounter others that were uh, finding their way out of their literacy and educating themselves. They educated me as well. We grew together, you feel me? So, I don't know. I just have a very good brotherhood energy, and I like brotherhood. And it's, it, there is a brotherhood in there that do teach you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't just teach you about one religion, but they just teach you and push you to educate yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, no. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Did you know what you was doing? Did you know how much time you was taking? Did you know about this before you chose the streets? You know what I'm saying? Learn about it. And there's time in there. Like, there are so many books. Utilize that time to read and find out what you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Might open your, might open your world up to something different. Right, you know right, right, right. So 10 years, right? I right. said, um, you said you've been doing right. music. Right. Um, so you've been fortunate to have this man on your side the Super whole time, fortunate. right? Super fortunate. Because you went away, he was still on your side. Went Rock with me the whole time. Right? Super fortunate. So how did you guys meet? We met, I was signed to a label called Black Balloon Global. You may or may not have heard of them. They're from Louisiana. They're based out of Louisiana. Uh, Squirm G, Rambo, K Cutter, Fee, Ray Vicks. These are landmarks where I'm from, you feel me? Shout out to them. Shout out to Black Balloon Global. DJ Killer Touch was managing them. He was also the president of the label. So he was, we were on the way to South by Southwest. And this is my first time going with them to South by Southwest. So he had shows booked for Squirm and Rambo. And we in the car, we playing all our different music. My songs come out and they start rolling. I, had, I guess he hasn't heard my songs yet. So he just tapped in like, you know who this is? Like, all right, damn, damn, damn. Like, and the more he listened, you feel me? The more he gravitated towards my sound and he asked me to send him the rest of my songs and I just sent them my vault. And from there, like, I don't know, but we just started building a relationship. You feel me? Like a real, a real relationship. He, he, he saw, he helped me cultivate my art. He convinced me to continuously cultivate my art and do what I was doing and inspired me. You know what I'm saying? And what made you stick by him? The money. <laughs> I know, I know, I know the money coming with that. Like that, he's a walking, he's a walking check. A walking check. I know. Check? I know we'll listen, I, I've been around. I've been around Kanye West in '97. I, I DJ for Jada Kiss for 20 years. I, I've been in the studio with Hov, and and he's he's right up there with all of them. Fire, fire. Let me ask you, um, what's the next move for 2023? Well, first of all, what was what was the last move, and what's the next one? The last move was Intoxicating featuring Sa Taylor Ricard, Intoxicating featuring Sauce Walker. Shout out to Sauce Walker. Shout out to TSF, man. The whole Later, family, that's the latest bro. single. That's the latest single. That was the last move. Now, what's the next move? The next move is, um, to be honest, I've been dropping songs like every Sunday. I've been doing that consecutively for about four weeks now. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's random. It's a jack-in-the-box with it. Like, I surprised so myself. I got so many songs. And I shoot videos all throughout the week to whatever I feel like. So you're going to get what I feel like. What 
I feel like creating, what I feel like shooting to. But you won't regret it though. <laughs> we, got, you we, got a video, we got a video with Tafia, Meek Mill's artist. That might that might be next. You know what's crazy? About dude who who was last said he dropping something on the fourteenth. My manager and my team are trying to convince me to drop a Valentine's Day album on the 14th. Oh, here we go. All this love. What I mean, it's love because it's, you don't feel love. a love in the air. All like, this love. You don't feel a love in the air, bro. <laughs> the, the air need love. <laughs> if you could round it off, how would how many songs would you say you have? <laughs> What's, <laughs> a lot, a lot. 2000. 2000. Yeah. 2000. 2000. And you're just sitting on all of it. Yeah, I'm just holding it. <laughs> you're sitting on 2000 songs? About 2000 songs. <laughs> record it. Record it. Record it. Record it. How many videos? Um, I think about eight. I'm going to say eight. I'm out of my new stuff. Eight. Out of 2000 songs, how many are actually worth? All right, let's listen to the actually put out. Without, no. Uh, you know what? No, I'm 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 going to be I'm going to be I'm going to be a tough critic. I'm going to be a tough critic on myself and I'm going to say you're going to love 100. You're going to absolutely love. That's honest, that's realistic though. That's you're going to absolutely realistic. love 100 of them. Though. You're going to say to yourself if you don't even like none of the rest of my songs, you're going to say this is an undeniable hit. Now I love this song. It's going to get stuck in your head and you're going to love it and you're going to say it to yourself when you're by yourself with no one else and you're going to do that shit and it's going to annoy you and it's 100 of them that'll do that. Song. For sure, for sure. What's the inspiration for writing? Is it, you know what, I got to get up and drop a song or throughout the days or the weeks, you know what, I'm in that mood, something happened, I'm feeling this way sometimes. Like, what's your inspiration for writing? Living inspires me. You feel me? So experiences inspire me. So if you tell me an interesting enough story, you that'll know, inspire me. I'm not in jail me. today. Let me get up and grab this What? Thing. That's inspiring. You feel me? Hey, you <laughs> come, you. but if you come to me, if you come to me to vent about what you're going through, that's the story. I'm going to ask sure. for your permission, but you've just given me a, a different outlook on someone's situation. So let me talk about it for you. We're going to talk about it together, and then I'm going to rap about it. You feel me? I'll sing about it. You ever thought about writing for people? I do that. You do that. Yeah, yeah I, that's do that. done. I did that while I was in I made money off doing that while I was in prison. <laughs> I would write a song, post it, and, sing, and send it to yo, somebody, and then... Yo, listen, one day we was in Atlanta. Right, he, He's in the hotel. He's on the phone. He's in the phone with one of his friends. They tell him a story about what happened. Literally 45 minutes, we're in the studio. He got a whole song about well, that conversation. And I, and I, li- I, I witnessed it because I was there, like... And the song is crazy. So you mentioned earlier you don't write, you just Nah, I don't write. Not right now. I'm about to start back writing though, you know. I I listen I was listening to Cole this week, bro. Shout out J. Cole, bro. He's so talented. Talented guy. And uh he just made me want to start writing again, but I haven't been writing. I've just been talking about what's happening right now in my life. Like and I like it. It's so so before, before going into the booth, it's all memorized? Or it's just no, all it's you right know there. As soon as I, I go right in, now. I just go to talking about what's happening. Like and that shit just makes sense. Mm. Right. It's the truth. Hard to do. It makes sense because it's the truth. You feel me? So it's so easy. Like, I be talking about charging my car off the turnpike. <laughs> I'm pulling up at your house, finna turn right. He snitches on himself with, with all chicks the all the time. All with chicks. The time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How, how is that? How, you have, how many girls you got after you right now? Do you have a uh, girlfriend? Uh, uh, or man. do you got like a whole bunch of girls after you right now? I got a whole bunch of girls after me, but I am interested in one person. Okay. All right. What's her name? In, I ain't saying that girl name. <laughs> well, what state is she from? What state she from? Where's she from? She's from Florida. She's different. <laughs> She's different. She ain't from Earth, you feel me? How about that? She's foreign. How about that? So <laughs> I'm going to ask you in a few who was your top five or whatever, oh but I need to know who inspired you. To do music? To do my music. father. Your my father. father. Victor father. Ricard is my father's name. He inspired me to do music. What do you do? Play instrument? My dad rap, sings, make beats. My dad did do everything. He draw, he's an artist, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And he's Superman to me. That man is an artist. That man know how to build stuff. He's just unlimited. His potential is just unlimited. When I was 14 years old, he bought his first house, a five-bedroom house. This man built on top of his house a room for me and built me a studio, a booth. You feel me? Mm. 14 years old. At 12 years old, he showed me how to make beats. I made my first beat. He made it with me, and he rapped to it. Mm. So, I mean, to please him was my one and only goal, you feel me, as a kid, you know, to get his approval and something to impress him. And then that shit just became, like, <laughs> not a second nature to me. Like, I breathed it. I, I just do it. I'm a dragon with this shit. Like, it's the fire. Listen. It just come out. It's natural. And you hey, got the right person on your side. Before you get to that top five, what's, um... Something you didn't get to do in 2022 that you have to do this year. I didn't get the tour, so I agree with him on that. Getting the tour. I want to do way more shows. I want to get way more features, man. I feel like I want to travel more. I want to see more so I can talk about more. So, because... It's a platform to educate. Like I could talk about something you ain't never heard about. You so the, like, so the way you, the way you do music, the more you sit still, the more nothing comes out. Yeah, nothing come no, out nothing when I sit still. Out. Nothing come out nothing when I sit out. still. Mm. It's annoying. I go crazy. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out and go around. I gotta go see some, discover something you I ain't got, never you heard got, of. You got ADD? Yes. Cause you will not stop moving. 
I won't. <laughs> I feel you, family. I feel you. I feel you. Do you, do you <laughs> so I'm going to ask this from my point of view. Do you ever plan on relaunching, redropping Perfect Imperfection? Yes, indeed. I'm oh, going to drop. Hey, look, you know what? I was actually, uh, uh, a lot of my fans just hit me up in my story the other day. Like, all of them simultaneously. Like, as if they discussed it in some cults type stuff. Like, are you going to drop? I released a project while I was in prison. But it was just for me to experiment on what that was actually like. Like, to go through distributing your own music. And I had nothing but the time. So, and I had a phone. So, mm. shit, let me go ahead and learn about it and do it. And I did it. <laughs> and, bro, like, everybody went and listened to my project. And they asking me to re-release the project. So, I am going to release some of my backlog stuff. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Now, ask them the question. So... I'm going to ask two, two. The question. The question. Two different questions. Oh, yeah, you got to go two categories. Because huh? you're, you're, you're an artist, right? Artiste. So, top five R&B artists. My t- Ooh, I like that. He was ready to top five rap. Top five R&B, buddy. Let's go. Top five R&B. Donnell Jones. Okay. Anthony Hamilton. Okay. Man. Ooh, that's so let's lit, Let's go. Bro. Let's go. That is let's so go. lit. That is such a good... Erica Badu, Alicia Keys. Mm-hmm. Um, One more. Man. Yes, Ooh. Uh, not one of my great, great. I would take nothing from him. Not one of my favorite though. I'm trying to think of my favorite man. Can I say Ron Isley? You can. I you love can. Ron Isley. You man. He's, can. he's still doing it. You his voice can. is like his he voice is like can. magic. Like damn. Now you want to have me ask you who your top five R and B groups are? Ooh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Let's go. Uh, the Jacksons. Let's uh, go. The Temptations. Okay. Um. You definitely was raised old school. Oh, man. Two not, more. Uh, Two more. Uh, IMX. Immature. 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 <laughs> immature. immature. Oh, immature. my immature. God. Immature. Oh, my like, what a random guy. Oh, guy. my uh, gosh. Man. No, that's not random. I'm about to hit y'all with some sidebar shit. In sync. <laughs> <laughs> Not in sync. Nah. Now, now you could be like, what? What? No, no, I'm not gonna judge Just you. Just the Timberlake okay. pressure. It's just pressure, bro. He been pressured. <laughs> All right, last one. Top five are um hip hop. My, my oh. hip hop. So uh, rap artists. Man, Drake. Lil Wayne. Nah. Lil Wayne. Nah, man. Lil Wayne created Drake, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Lil Wayne. Um, I'm gonna give it to Kanye West. I'm gonna give it to my main man, Jay the Kiss. Dog, Kiss the sickest. Bro. Kiss is unstoppable. Um. Oh, uh, yes, yes. I'm, I'm. He's right. He's right. I don't. I can't. I can't even skip over the man, bro. Hold, bro. And uh, thought you uh, like, I thought you like J Cole. Nah, you know what? I, I love Cole. I, I really love Cole. I really love Cole. But you know what sucks? You don't give me anybody from your hometown. Cause I don't feel like they hip hop artists. Yeah, Lil Wayne, Wayne is from okay, Louisiana. Okay, I'll get Lil Wayne. Now, if you ask me about rap, that's different. You feel <laughs> me? I can answer people from my hometown, but I don't feel like that's hip hop. I'm thinking hip hop. Mm. me? So. Uh, someone that inspired me hip hop wise. You know what's crazy? This probably you probably never heard most deaf, man. I love most deaf. Of course oh, I've heard of most deaf. I mean of I mean you probably never heard nobody just, you know, no, no, no. Most most deaf deaf, deaf most like raw, bro. I like deaf, man. I feel like deaff real slept on, like black star real slept on. That was the first album I ever got credit on. That Black conscious Soul. spit, really? man. Yeah, bro. Ooh, All right. Man. And since we got you sitting here, I got two for you too. Your top five, and I'm gonna ask your top five groups. So your top five Hip hop? Rap. Hip hop. Dead or alive, and remember you get groups too. So okay, top five, top five hip hop. Let's go. Uh, Jay Z is number one. Okay. Um, the rest is no particular order, but Jada Kiss, um, LL Cool J. Uh, let's go. Let's Two go. More, let's man. go. Let's go. It's a tough. It's uh, tough. Huh? It's tough. Oh, I can't, I can't really question. say like. I, I don't like to put big in there, but I I'll put big in there. Okay. I don't like to put big because he, he wasn't around long enough, but put big and uh Styles P. Okay. But remember you get groups. Groups? So the locks. you saw you saw you okay, so they're still in your that's top it. five. Okay. That's it. So okay, that's it? <laughs> that's it, just the locks. The locks, man. No woo, no mob D. No, 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 just the locks. Okay. Hey, do these questions suck because you know you work with so many people? Yeah, you gotta <laughs> leave. That's got, like, got, that got, do got, suck and suck, bro, because you gotta got leave people out. I got, I got man. issues with, uh, with people certain out, people. No right? gym set? Like I said, the locks. locks. The locks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shout out to the locks. D block. Uh, All right. Yeah. Trying to jam me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, family, out of respect, first of all, anything you wanna say we didn't get to ask you? Um, nah, man, I'm, 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 I'm happy with life. I'm pleased with all the questions, bro, you know. If y'all want to find me on my socials, I am Taylor. Oh, Ricard. stop, stop, stop. I'm wait. sorry, don't do that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. I'm moving too fast. Uh, that's what, that's wait, what, wait, he was also he was also featured on Jada Kiss' album. I don't, he, oh, you didn't he, say that? He, he oh, yeah, that I didn't say that, bro. I'm just trying to be before he went to jail. My bad. I'm on Top 5 Dead or Alive, track 15, Colors, you feel me? Really? Yeah, my name is 
Exodus on the album. Why you like, change your name? My, because man, I well, for one, my name now is a represent a representation of my family. Taylor is my mother's last name, and Ricard is my father's last name. So I'm representing my lineage by doing my music. You feel me? I'm, I'm making a legacy out of this. You feel me? So it ain't about nicknames. It ain't about what you call yourself, what people call you. It's about what you represent. So, and I represent those two people, my mother and my father. And now, best way to find you. <laughs> Taylor Ricard on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud. Of uh, looking at my socials, it's Taylor Ricard XO. That's T A Y L O R R I C A R D XO on everything. That's Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all that. You hear me? Do we get to li- do we get to end with one of your songs? Oh yes, indeed. Hey, Run McQueen, because that's just me, and I'm just snapping, like, and I'm just having fun. Oh, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Um. Let me pull it up. Let me hook it up. Hey, what you Why cooking don't I see up? It? It's definitely in your email. Let me see. Let me see. What's your email? Killer Thank Chuck. God for editing, boy. Woof. <laughs> I just sent it to you like five minutes ago. Ah, oh, that's why I didn't get it. Which one you want to go with? McQueen. Is that the one that has no title? Most of them don't have no title, but it should say McQueen in the email. Right. In the, in the, in the... Bro, little the dice, baby. All right, got it. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No, where you going? Um, all righty. First of all, family, pleasure having you in here today. Pleasure having you in here today. Always welcome back. Keep doing your thing. Pleasure to be here. Um, now you know next time you come to Rhode Island, bring a jacket. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> a trench coat. Bring it, bring it. Yeah, Some bring boots. Coat. Yeah, now Some you know next time. first day of Canada Goose, trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> and before we get up out of here, introduce the joint. This is McQueen, and I am Taylor Record, man. Go stream this on everything. Apple Music, Spotify. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Fire, boy.